everyone we are back at it again for the month of august and i have almost reached my goal of creating a patreon account which will be launching on friday the 3rd at 1 p.m eastern patreon is basically a place where you can sign up for a specific plan and receive goodies from me during the month or on a monthly schedule so i do have plans on making enamel pins from my characters so this is one of the ways that will help me to do that I hope you're all enjoying your summer so far, wherever you are, because it's flying past so fast. This month is a special one yet again because I'm collaborating with Christina from My Life in a Bullet. She is crazy talented, kind-hearted, and a dear friend, and I always love and look forward to working with her whenever I can. For this month's bullet journal setup, we picked the theme of feathers, and that's it. We basically have freedom in how we interpret the theme, the color, and the style. And I haven't seen her setup yet, so give her some love along with me. I'm so excited to see what she came up with because she mentioned that she's been wanting to do this theme and had ideas for it, so it's going to be really good. Jumping right into this month because I didn't complete much of the trackers for last month. It was a pretty rough one and I got so overwhelmed with everything that all I did was plan out my to-do list. So for this month, I shortened my setup a bit so that it works better with my time and then I'll slowly add things back in when I can. When I first thought about feathers and what I wanted to do for this setup, I thought about weightlessness and flying. I want to create a soft, subtle, and very simple painting of a feather using my Kiritake Blue Gray and Pale Rose brush pens and my water brush. I'll link the exact colors and all my supplies in the description below, so definitely check that out when you get a chance. These pens are amazing. It's so easy to do watercolor paintings now, but the hardest part is learning how to paint in reverse. Traditionally, you build up color, but with the pens, you kind of dilute the color. So it takes some getting used to, but it's still so much fun to work with. Once the painting is dry, I'll go back in with my 05 Micron to add in a few touches of shadow, write in the title of the month, and then add some gold, of course, with my gold jelly roll. I'll have this painting and the entire spread linked below as a kit with all of the quotes and the pictures that I used in my shop so you can recreate this exact spread for your journals too. Please remember to tag me in the photos and credit me at the beginning of the captions. I love to share my work with you, but I do get so nervous when I see people taking my work as their own, especially my animals, and not crediting me until the very end of the caption. So thank you guys for looking out for me, and I sincerely love our community, and I really want to continue sharing my work with you. Next is going to be my dedication page, and this month is dedicated to flight. More metaphorically, to have more trust in ourselves and abilities to reach our goals. So I collected some photos that I loved, places I want to travel to, and just pictures that made me feel good to put throughout the spread. I was so inspired by my last video and I needed a change this month, but I was honestly so scared because it's different than my usual bunny and bear story, which I'm taking a break from. But as I was prepping for this, it was really nice to be a little more creative with the journal and worry less about the illustrations, the storyline, and everything that normally goes into my setups. So within this collage is one of my all-time favorite quotes from a poem by Aaron Hansen. He writes, there is a freedom waiting for you on the breezes of the sky. And you ask, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? And this sums up my ultimate goal, not just for this month, but for my entire life. It's so easy to get caught up on all the things that can go wrong, which can stop us from doing everything. And I don't want to miss out on opportunities just because I'm scared that it won't work, because there is also a chance that it will work and I'll never know. So I want to encourage you to try and believe in yourself as well. Next up is my three month calendar spread. This hasn't changed much still with this month larger up top and then the next two underneath smaller. I've added some hanging feathers with beads for that slight boho vibe and then this gorgeous photo underneath. And then I wrote a little reminder to make my dreams come true. Not wait for it and not wish for it, but work towards it. 
I was listening to the only podcast I listen to now, and in this episode, she talks about the importance of believing in your dreams. Because if we didn't, we wouldn't work as hard to achieve them, thinking that we know that we'll fail. For example, when we're learning to ride a bike, we don't go on the bike thinking that we will never ride that bike. I'm pretty sure we went on that bike knowing that we'll learn to ride it and expecting to fall a few times, hence the training wheels. And if we did go on the bike doubting ourselves, we probably wouldn't have tried learning at all. What's the point, right? You'll never learn anyways. This podcast has changed my life and I'm so thankful for it. So I'll link that info down below as well because it will change your life too. For my monthly page, I didn't change much about this either. I have an idea for next month that I want to do, so stay tuned for that one. I added some windblown feathers to the top and filled it in with my Karataki brush pens. And then underneath that is a calendar with each one of these squares being about an inch. And then I rounded the corners to change it up a little bit more, but not so much. And then on the right of that are my goals for this month. My first goal is to move my shop to my website completely and officially launch Blush in May on August 24th. So that's another date to mark on your calendars for updated stickers, prints, and printables, and maybe more. I'm also doing another craft show on September 9th in Philly in Chestnut Hill. So I want to have everything ready for that one. And if you're in the area and want to come visit, I would absolutely love that. More information for that show is below as well. There's so much going on right now in the description. So that can be your reading material after the video. My last goal, of course, is to continue with self-love by first allowing myself to fail as many times as I need before I reach my dreams. I grew up knowing that we have to fail to eventually get things right. And I even tell my friends that things will be fine and that they will find a way to achieve whatever it was that they wanted to. But for some reason, as we get older, we give up easily. I fail once or twice and I think that it won't work. So I quit. So for this month, I just want to allow myself to do not so good work and even bad work and just keep pushing forward with determination and all the knowledge that I have. I want this for all of us because there is so much more to see and explore in the world. Moving on to my page at Milestones and a blank page for anything I need as the month goes on. Normally I have my fitness, drawing, and morning routine trackers here, but since I know that I won't be keeping up with it this month, I'm taking it out for now. Even though I didn't have a story in the setup, I had to add the bunny in somehow in this magical scene as feathers surround him and gently float upwards towards the sky. He is fascinated and immersed in the wonder of the feathers, so much so that he believes that he too can be that weightless, carefree, and able to create magic in this world. The scene is then completed with more hanging feathers on top of this dreamy photo of two birds over beautiful blue waters. I wanted a photo to represent the beauty of flight and this picture was perfect. On the left of the picture, I added another one of my favorite quotes. It says, The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. And then on top of that is a little reminder that we have to fall in order to fly. And then finally, for my weekly title page, I found this beautiful photo of a city peeking over the clouds, almost like a floating city. And then a gorgeous detail shot of feathers, both with a dreamlike quality to them, working perfectly with the theme. And then underneath that is a final quote that sums up the whole meaning of the entire spread by Henry Ford. He says, When everything seems to be going against you, remember that the airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. For my first time doing this kind of collage spread, I loved how some of these turned out. 
I'm going to add in a few more things to make the milestones layout work a little better, but overall this was exactly the change that I needed and I wanted a super motivational spread this month. So having so many quotes kind of telling a story of their own is hopefully going to carry me through this month. Let me know what you think and what you think my September theme should be. It will be officially one year of bullet journaling when I post my September spread, so I want it to be epic. Hopefully the best one I'll ever do. So share this video with your friends and family and we can make next month's spread amazing. Also, join me on Instagram to keep up with my shop and anything else I have going on. Check out Christina's video and mark your calendars for August 3rd and 24th. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!